Hello, gentlemen. Uh, it is educational lecture week, so I'm going to lecture you educationally about the mechanics of flight and lift. Um, because how a lot, uh, possibly even most, schools teach how flight works, how wings create lift, is actually wrong. They're teaching it incorrectly. So here's a diagram of how they usually teach flight. Now as you can see, we have the wing here, and they say that because of its shape, where it's curved on the top and flat on the bottom, that means that the air over it has to go faster in order to reach the same place at the same time, and that makes that air above it lower pressure, which means that the wing moves up, carrying the plane with it. There are a couple of problems with this. One, there's no real reason why this air has to get to the same place at the same time as this air down here. The other problem, the biggest problem, is what happens when we turn it upside down. You see, if it was the shape of the wing that was creating the lift, not only would the plane fall when you turn it upside down, it would actually move downwards very quickly, because if there's enough upwards force to counteract gravity when it's right side up, there would therefore be two g's of force going down, right? So it seems pretty clear that this is not how things actually work. So here is a diagram of how it really works. There are two forces going on. And they are both created by not the shape of the wing, but the angle of the wing. The wing is tilted like this. It's difficult to see because we don't generally stand next to airplanes while they're flying. And while they're on the ground, they're usually tilted back a little bit. And it's kind of hard to see the camber of the wing. But they're tilted like this. Right? And um, that creates two forces here. One, you have some air hitting the lower surface of the wing and, press it, and therefore pushing the plane upwards. The other, and this is the main force, is that air goes over the wing and that creates a low pressure zone here, indicated by the green if you can see that creates a low pressure zone, which causes the plane to rise. Now the reason for this curved shape of the wing is that it lessens the angle at which the air hitting the front surface of the wing goes over it, and that way the angle of attack, the tilt of the wing, can actually be greater before causing a stall, because if there's too much low pressure behind it, then the plane loses its forward momentum and stalls. Um, so that is how wings work. It is actually, this shape is not necessary to the proper functioning of a wing. A wing could be this shape and still work just fine. It just wouldn't work as well. But you could fly a plane with a rectangular wing. It's just that this shape works better. So there is my educational lecture, correcting the lies of our educational institutions since 2011. See you later, gents.